Hey gang, <clears throat> it's me over here in the lab getting uh, some work done on the injection project. Uh, you can see there's my throttle bodies and injectors and all this good intake that I slapped together. But basically, uh, <clears throat> we're getting it all ready for the, uh, for the upgrade here. Um, I know it's been some time since I talked about it or even mentioned it, and a lot of guys probably thought I was blowing smoke about the idea of putting fuel injection and computer control on the 360 engine. But you know what? It's a reality, and I'm working on it slowly. It's getting there. Uh, what I did today was I ran the uh, wiring harness from the front to the back, um, started wiring in some circuits, and uh, <clears throat> a couple of things I got done, uh, I guess it was last week, I installed my, uh, my spare clutch housing cover uh, with the outfitted 36-1 uh, timing wheel and Hall Effect Sensor plus Bracketry. So that's all tied in now, um, run through this line here. I still have to put a loom on this to protect it, uh, but that's hot wired up into the computer. Uh, you notice that I don't have any wires on my distributor cap here because that's been eliminated. Um, the coil's sitting here just kind of helter-skelter willy-nilly. Um, I have to drill some holes and mount it up here and it'll be right there. It'll look really nice. Uh, as we move to the left here, you'll see all these wires and whatnot laying in a pile here. This will be the uh, sensor. Uh, you got your uh, intake air temperature sensor, uh, your coolant sensor, uh, two injector lines, and a couple of other wires for the MAP sensors. and uh, Not the MAP sensor, I'm sorry, the throttle position sensor and a few other things. But um, there's some ground lines down here. Uh, basically, <clears throat> this back here is a uh, work in progress. But the beautiful thing about this is that the, the computer does do multiple things. It injects the fuel monitors the mixture and also uh, controls the timing and the ignition um, because I sort of have it cobbled together today I'm able to play with the ignition which would be nice uh, we want the carburetor so I'm going to do a little quick test for you just to show you the ignition does work uh, the computer just sitting on the shelf down here oops I unplugged my serial cable just laying on the parcel shelf um, it will be mounted against the front of the side wall here <clears throat> Once I get, uh, I'm going to get some of that heavy-duty Velcro and just to, to fix it up there so I don't have to drill any holes or anything. And then it can be removed for modification and whatnot. Um, then we have our good old laptop computer <coughs> running Tuner, Tuner Studio. Uh, right now it's uh, offline. When I turn the key on, the computer will go online. It should sync up with the laptop. So let's do that. Give it a second. She'll come up. There we go. Now you'll see some of these gauges here are not going to be uh, working properly or they're going to wander. Like you see, the throttle position sensor is just kind of wandering. Well, obviously, there's no throttle position sensor, so that's not going to do anything for me. Um, I also don't have <clears throat> I also don't have um, an O2 sensor running yet or any of this you know fuel load. It's not there. Um, engine speed and ignition timing um, basically are all we have to work with today. Uh, timing itself is not going to be all that active because I don't have the vacuum line run yet. I, there's a lot of work, but I just wanted to, I got so excited I wanted to show you guys. So basically what I do is I'll turn the key. Sure enough, she fires up. Uh, right now it's showing me <clears throat> it's uh, feeding at 13 degrees. So that's a baseline baseline ignition. It's 13 degrees for top dead center. Um, if I was to step on the gas, it's supposed to give me some advance, but it's not going to because uh, the fact that it's not connected doesn't know. Look at the computer. You can see the two lights illuminating with the uh, in correlation with the sparks. notice some of the lights flashing, the center light flashing. Uh, whenever the computer gets mad, it says uh, it shuts down certain things. I'm not sure if that was a uh, fuel pump it was trying to shut down or what it was doing, but... It hit the red li rev limiter. That's pretty cool. I think what I might do is uh, I might actually put launch control in just so I can play with that popping. But anyway, <laughs> it's all for fun. Anywho, that's uh, what's going on. Project's underway. Um, hopefully, I'll get the uh, the uh, throttle bodies wired in today. I'm hoping I can get that done, get it all tied in. So, anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you soon.